back to the property, everybody. Today we are on the other end of the property, over towards the west side of it. We have another overgrown clearing over here. I am beyond excited to get into the skid steer, use the new mulcher that we have now, and clear this field up. I hope you stick around. As always, we are proud to be sponsored by Boro Wheel Spacers. If you have a tractor and you're feeling a little tippy side to side, wheel spacers can make a big difference. Boro Wheel Spacers are made in America and have a lifetime warranty. I wanna know what you think about this overgrown field transformation. You can do so by giving me a thumbs up down below. Maybe leave a comment. If you wanna see more tractor videos and maybe an occasional skid steer video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And if you want something for your tractor or your skid steer, make sure you check out goodworkstractors.com. Does anybody else have a problem with always needing to get something larger? larger. <laughs> I feel like with my trucks and with my trailers, with my tractors, with my skid steers, no matter what it is, I always find myself at some point wishing I had something bigger. So I'm now at the top of the heap, the top of the mountain with the John Deere 333G skid steer. That's the largest one that they make. And we have upsized our mulcher head from Balmalite. We are two series higher than we were on the old mulcher head. This mulcher head here is going to be able to tackle a lot bigger diameter trunks and debris. And it's also going to have a lot larger hydraulic motor because of the the hydraulic output that you have on this high flow machine. So the area we've spent most of the time out here at the property is gonna be on the far other end, the far east or southeast side of the property where the big open fields are at. Where we're standing now is on the complete opposite end of the property and it's really the only open-ish, you know, it's overgrown, but the only sort of open area that we can reclaim pretty easily without having to cut down a bunch of huge trees. So as I go through this area, I'm gonna not completely wipe it clean. There's gonna be some specimen trees that I'm gonna wanna leave because I may decide to replant those somewhere down the road if I get a tree spade. I've never used one of those, but if I have a large enough quantity, then it could be worth buying or maybe I can find one to rent or get one on the used market, I don't know. But we'll see how that goes. I wanna at least have the opportunity to think about it a little bit more. And I know I've seen a handful of fruit trees, apple trees and crab apples out here as well that I would sure like to leave around for the wildlife. Alrighty, well I can't wait any longer so we're gonna go ahead and get to mulching. This is gonna operate quite similar to the smaller unit that we had previously. It's just kind of on steroids, you know? So. I've already gone through the break-in period and ran it the first couple of hours. You want to avoid any sharp objects, you know, if you're going to hit metal fence posts or if you're going to hit rocks, that kind of thing, because these teeth need to wear in a little bit, and that's pretty common. But if you are looking for a mulcher head, whether it's for your skid steer, maybe for the three-point on your tractor, or any other Balmalite equipment, then know that we are a Balmalite dealer and we can ship nationwide, so feel free to reach out. <music> Thank you. 
folks, that's gonna wrap it up for today. I tell ya, I just never have more fun than I'm out here clearing land. I've had a few folks tell me, you know, careful, it's fun now, but it's gonna be work later on. And I don't know, I feel like I could probably do this all day long, every day. This is just such a fun transformation, such a fun way to change the land, to make it an overgrown, tangled mess and just open it up. So this is probably gonna become a food plot uh, down the road at some point, unless I completely change direction on what I wanna do. Um, but just something that's kind of isolated back here and probably the farthest point away from houses in any different direction. We did find one crab apple tree right here within the area that we cleared and there's a couple other crab apple slash apple trees along the perimeter that I've seen so far. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with all these trees that I've left again. It's maybe because I might want to just make some sort of a semi screen, use some you know somewhat established trees and if they're here why not but who knows maybe we come back and mow them all down that's a lot of fun too i think we estimated we've been at it for about an hour and a half to two hours somewhere in there and it's hard to say exactly probably an acre to an acre and a half cleared right now with you know a mixture of grass and a lot of overgrown shrubs but we've got a lot more work to do with the brush mulcher so we'll be back at it another day to tackle more of it i do want to thank you so much for taking the time to stop by if you enjoyed seeing this land transformation Go ahead, give me a thumbs up. Make sure you hit that subscribe button to see more tractor videos. And if you're looking for something for your machine, skid steers included, check out goodworkstractors.com. Until next time, stay safe. We'll see you soon.